Wow, I I really don't want to be making this video. Um, actually, to be honest, it's not really the video itself. It's the subject of the video that I'm having issues with. I have put filming... I've put off filming of this for at least three days. And in case you don't have access to my Facebook... And the important thing is that I have cut my mother off from my life and it's not because of anything she's done recently. It's not. I mean, I'm going to be honest, like lately, she has been the mother that I've always wanted. Like, she's been very supportive. She's been very kind. She's been enthusiastic. But... For whatever reason, I can't. Oh boy, I'm crying. Um, sorry, I'm not like really like upset, but this is a very emotional thing for me. So, like, if I start crying, it's just because I feel very strongly about this. It's not like. I'm hysterical or necessarily very sad. I mean, I am sad that it's come to this, but not sad enough to where I would cry over it. Um, I saw in my past she wasn't the mother I needed. Um, I don't think that she's evil. I don't think she's horrible. I don't think she's a monster. I think she was given a really shitty advice and she followed it. And this is the fallout of that happening. Wow, I, I actually managed to explain that rather quickly. I'm kind of surprised. Um, I love my mother. I really do, but it was getting to the point where everything she did was making me angry. Like, she would message me and be like, hey, how are you? I would like to see a picture of you guys. And like, I could feel nothing but resentment because of the way she treated me in the past. and. I don't think it's fair to blame somebody for something that happened in the past because it's not like they can go back in time and fix it. That's a just, it's fixed point in time, it won't be erased. Maybe the wounds can heal a little, but that those moments will always be there. But the way that they were affecting me was so unhealthy. Um, I was feeling nauseated all the time and just like really angry like whenever I thought of her and that's in case you didn't realize that's not healthy at all and I knew I was wrong I knew that I should not be feeling this way like, nobody should. It's it's horrible. I, I would not wish this on my worst enemy. But I was trying to figure out, like, what was going on. Because, like, it didn't hit that it was connected to my mother for some reason. It's just there were, It seemed like random moments where I would just feel like shit. Like, absolutely horrible. And I didn't know what to do about it. So, I just kind of let things slide for years yeah th this is not like a, uh, uh I'm gonna cut off my mother because that seems like really fun this is something that's been going on for a while and I've only like started talking about my childhood and actually this last year I just didn't like bring it up because every time I did, I would relive it and why would you want to do that to yourself, you know? I mean, I, I, 
I don't read comments on, like, Facebook posts mostly. Like, you know, I, I try to not do things that will upset me or make me angry. So, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what was going on. Like, why I just felt so awful a lot of the time. And my mother, I'm trying to think of a way to say this that, that doesn't sound like I'm trying to beat up on her because I'm really not, but th this is the truth as I see it. And uh, so, yeah, um, she was very hypercritical of me. Um, when I was born, I had a very low APGAR score, and, uh, I was developmentally delayed, and she wanted the best for me, so uh, she pushed me to be normal. Um, unfortunately, throughout most of my life, the normal people were complete pieces of shit. So... Basically, throughout the entirety of my childhood, the best way I can describe it is that she had a choice between um, Harry Potter and Dudley Dursley, and she wanted Dudley because he was the more socially acceptable one. And as ridiculous as a comparison it sounds, that's pretty much what happened, and it fucked me up hardcore. Um... So yeah, I, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know what was up. So like, if I seem weird or like make mention of it, I just want to know. I just want people to know. I want to be honest on my channel, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Um, on the bright side... Uh, I, I do have good family news on Friday, March 15th, my little sister Emma is getting married and I'm so happy for her and I wish I could be there, but now that this drama's come up, I'm kind of glad that I'm not going to be there because that would just be so awkward and it's her and uh, her future husband, Kevin. Kevin, that's his name. Sorry, I'm, I'm horrible. Um, that's her and Kevin's day, and I wouldn't want any drama to impact it. So, uh, I would just like to say my best wishes to them, and I hope that your day is wonderful. And to my viewers, I hope that your day is wonderful. Um, I hope that you don't have to deal with a situation like this, because it really, really sucks. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, have a hoopy day and keep it fruity and please like and subscribe and click the bell icon because those really help my channel because honestly, for us smaller YouTubers, YouTube is just, yeah. So anyway, um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.